Hi, I'm Janet Nunn, and today we are painting this impressionistic picture of the mountains with trees, a little bit of water, beautiful sky. And we're doing it with the Dr. P.H. Martin paint and this wonderful tool that is a plastic credit card. We have a mister and these are only the four colors that we used. Thalo blue, uh, quinacridone magenta, Payne's gray, and sap green. This is a wonderful wet on wet. There's water everywhere. And to keep the lines, this credit card just makes all the lines for us. It is a fun lesson. So now that you have all your tools, let's get started. Uh, this is a wonderful note card. I have it taped down edge to edge to edge. I have some lines on the side for my rule of thirds just to kind of give me some guidelines so I know where I'm going. This is our paintbrush. So you can use your credit card if you want to. Uh, this is a room key from uh, the Renaissance Hotels and it's perfect for painting. So also a water mister. Those are the things you need so let me just get my paint ready and then we'll start painting. Okay, blue sky. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just gonna make a line long enough for my credit card. And then I have some green here. Make another line just long enough for my credit card. Some quinacridone magenta, just because I think every painting needs quinacridone magenta. And the last one is my shadows, which is Payne's Gray. So I have my paint, I have my paintbrush. Now, I'm gonna take this olive oil mister and I have water in it. And you can see I have sprayed it pretty darn good. Actually had a little piece of paint on it. The water will take the paint and just allow it to flow. So, here's my blue. I'm just gonna make this beautiful sky come down and add just a little bit of water there for the um, water. And then now, if I just go straight up and down, this is just the water, the paint, and the paper are doing everything for me. I don't have to work too hard. Let me just add a little bit of that magenta in there. A little bit of beetle kill, never hurt anybody. And then got this, it's got a nice reflection going. You can use a lot of different colors. I just like these colors because they're doing its job. Now as I go along, I need to have my light, medium, and now here's my dark. That's that Payne's Gray. And that just adds a few little shadows in between some of these trees, just to give them a little more depth. And I can just come right over here. And before you know it, you've got a wonderful scene that has wonderful trees. I'm just adding a few more as it's drying. You can notice the paper kind of goes up a little bit, but there you go. Wasn't that easy. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll finish it up for you. Just to speed up the process of drying, you can just let it air dry on a nice sunny day. It wouldn't take very long at all. Um, or you can get your hair dryer out. I will be right back. I'm just gonna put it on high and I'll be done in a second. Okay, it's dry. Notice why in the beginning I painted this, I mean, I taped it edge to edge. So when I paint it, I will get this wonderful border. And sometimes it works out just fine. So you have these beautiful sky, you have this impression of Colorado mountains and a beautiful thing that you can send to someone and a lesson of wet on wet on wet watercolor. 
Whoops. Last thing to do, I'm going to sign it this way because I'm sorry. In the wrong way. And there you have it. These are only the four colors that we used. Thalo Blue, uh, Quinacridone Magenta, Payne's Gray, and Sap Green. More lessons, more lessons. I have three How Do You Paint That books. One, two, three. There's 40 lessons in each one. So you can be very, very busy. In book three, the cool part about book three, I have, whoops, the cactus. And you can follow along and paint, but you can also use the QR code and watch me on YouTube. Now, if you really wanna take your painting skills and take them on an adventure, with the Foothills Art Center, we have done Italy three times. And what an exciting adventure. Not only do you get to see these beautiful sights, but you get to see them. You sit, you paint, you watch people go by, you have wonderful lunches in cafes. You get to be a part of the scenery instead of just going from one place to the next place to the next. You see things, you smell them, and you document them on paper. It is a wonderful way to take your painting skills to another level. So go to the Foothills Art Center and you will be able to find some of the new trips we're coming on and some of the trips that we've been on. Thank you, I'm Janet Nunn. Catch me again and we will be doing a lot more paintings and happy painting.